The following is a very true experience. I've never actually wrote this down before, and I don't know if anyone has had this experience too. This happened between 1989 and 1990, and I was about the age of... foe. To this day, I still get chills thinking about it, and I wonder if in some way unknown, it changed me. My parents had a house in the Inland Empire of the Southern California, and at the time my brother hadn't been born yet, so I was still the only child. To give you a layout, my parents' house was a two-story house located in a cul-de-sac. On the bottom floor, there was two bedrooms, a bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen. The second floor was just the master bedroom and a bath. All you could see from the street was the garage and one of the bedroom windows on the bottom floor and the window of my mum's bathroom on the second floor. To get to the front door, you had to walk along the cement pathway that ran along the side of the house. You had to pass the first bedroom that you could see from the street, then you passed the bathroom window, and then another bedroom window, and then you would be at the front door. The backyard was beyond that point. My bedroom at the time was the bedroom next to the front door. Now, for some reason, my blinds weren't completely down to the bottom of the window. There was about a six inch gap with nothing covering it. I was pretty young, so I didn't really care much about it then. The bed was in the middle of the wall across from my bedroom door, and to the left was the window. According to my mum, this all happened right before midnight. My mother was asleep in her room upstairs, and my dad was a policeman that worked nights in another city. I was fast asleep in my room, and out of nowhere I suddenly awoke, looking up at the ceiling. I don't know what woke me, or if I just popped awake on my own. After my eyes adjusted to the night's light of my bedroom, I sat up and started looking around my room. All of a sudden, something caught my eye at the window, in the gap. First, I thought it was the street light reflecting on the window, but I knew for a fact that there was only one street light, and what I was looking at was two obvious glowing spots that were spaced apart as if it was someone's face. Then I thought, is that a cat looking at me? And yes, I vividly remember thinking these things, trying to debunk this at four years old. I had remembered then that my cat Chelsea's eyes would reflect at night. But this looked different than that. The cat eyes would almost have different colours when reflecting. These two were very solid, bright, white glowing eyes, looking straight at me. I just stared at them, frozen stiff, trying to make sense of what I'm seeing. I couldn't see a face at all. The eyes were just so bright nothing else stood out. That void, or face, around the eyes looked blacker than the night. I thought again. Well, if this is a cat, how could a cat be big like a person? And why would a cat stand up to stare into my bedroom? The curiosity got to me, and I went for it. I flipped my covers off, turned my little four-year-old body towards the window, and put my feet onto the floor. This is the moment the creepiest thing happened, and it will forever be burned into my brain. I got off the bed and got on my knees to get a closer look at this so-called cat, when at this very moment, this faceless pair of glowing white eyes begin to slowly and steadily tilt to the side, very similar to Michael Myers in Halloween. The eyes still locked on me not blinking once. The feeling of dread and fear shot through my body. Completely terrified, I burst into tears immediately and booked it down the hallway, through the living room and up the stairs to tell my mum. Although I was going as fast as I could, it felt like it took forever. When I got to my mum, I was so upset. I couldn't get any words out. 
tears were streaming down my face, and my mum was becoming seriously concerned at this point. She was able to calm me down just enough for me to get out the words. There... There is these white eyes looking at me through my window, on the bottom. Stutter crying hard. Are you sure? My mum asked. I cried out, yes. She didn't even go down to look. She just called the police. I don't remember the time it took for them to arrive, or what they said, because I finally fell asleep in my mum's bed. I do remember faintly waking up to a knock on the door, and my mum going to open it. The cops speak to her, and I hear her say, Okay, thank you, good night. And she shuts the door. Did they find it, mummy? I asked, half asleep. No, honey. He said they couldn't find anyone. My mum told me softly. It's okay now, just go back to sleep. It's safe to say that the next day, my whole window was covered. Years fast forward, and I'm in middle school now. Every now and then, I would think about that night. Sometimes I wondered if in that moment was real. If those eyes were really there. Those unforgettable white eyes. One day, a random thought came up, and I asked my mum if she remembered that night. She tells me, yes, of course. Why? I don't know, just wondering, I guess, I said. Then my mum proceeds to say, Well, I never told you this, but when the deputy came to our house that night, he told me that they made it a priority to get to our house as soon as they could, because not very long before I called 911, they received another call from someone else, reporting that someone was looking in their window, in our same neighbourhood. Hearing that sent chills down my spine, and to this day I wonder who, or what, was looking at me that night. <laughs>